Hello, welcome to the short board on Parshas Balak, dedicated to Eli Nishmas, Avi Mori, Naphtali Ben Yitzhak Isaac. This Devar Torah is adapted from a shir I heard live today by Rabbi Daniel Gladstein. By the time you hear this, it'll be on Torah anytime. But for a condensed version and some highlights, here you go. Perich of Beis Paskei Rashi there asked the question, of why would Hashem have his divine presence upon Bilam? Why was Bilam a Russia, a Navi? The answer he gave was so that the Gentiles would not be able to say, oh, if we had a Navi, then we would have behaved too, but we didn't have a Navi. So Hashem gave them a Navi. However, this doesn't really answer the question because they can then proceed to ask, well, the Jews had Moshe Rabbeinu, the great righteous Sadik, and we had Bilam, the evil Russia. So how is that fair? If you gave us Moshe Rabbeinu, then we would have been good too. So the Gemara in, in Hanistaf, Zayn Amud Aleph, quotes Rabbi Chenina, who says that from my rabbis, I learned much. From my colleagues, I learned even more, but I learned the most from my students. From my students, more than any of them. Why would this be the case? There are numerous reasons, but what I'd like to share is that when a Rebbe, a rabbi, sacrifices his opportunity for personal Torah growth in order to teach his students, not only does he not lose out, but actually Hashem grants him even greater wisdom than he would have had if he had not taught his students and he just learned on his own. This is because what the rabbi is being given is the Torah of the student's and to meet their needs, not just what the rabbi's needs are. He gives a mushal, a parable, that a mother of a, of a young infant, so she has a, when the baby is small, then she nurses, she only has a little bit of milk to give the baby. However, as the baby gets bigger and needs more, the amount of, of milk naturally becomes greater. And the reason for this is because it's not about the mother's needs, that it should be some consistent amount for her, but it's about the baby's needs. And that's how Hashem responds. So from here, we, we can learn a great principle. What is a Rebbe? A Rebbe is a receptacle that Hashem places what the students need. And the same thing applies not just for Rabbanim, but for other le leaders in the world. You get what you deserve. You get, you know, the country, the way it acts, they get their type of leaders. The, the students, they get their type of, of rabbis. So Bilam and Moshe Rabbeinu, then this will answer our original question, they were both of the same type of Navua capacity. They were both vessels with the same type of potential. However, they each reflected a different constitu constituency. Moshe Rabbeinu reflected the righteous Jews, and therefore he became the righteous uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, the, the great leader of the Dordea. However, the people who Bilam was representing, they were evildoers. Therefore, they got someone like, like Bilam, who himself was a Russia. But the potential was always there to have a proper Navi. If they had been worthy, then they would have gotten a greater type of person, maybe like Moshe Rabbeinu. But because they weren't worthy, even though they had a Navi, they did not achieve what they could have. So may we learn from this that we should be Zoha to elevate ourselves and our generation so that we should have great leaders and the Bias Agol, the bringing of Mashiach from Herb Yomeno. Listen, like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.